You're listening to the Mountain Woman Radio Show, which can be found on our website at treyerwilderness.com and also on iTunes. Welcome to the Mountain Woman Radio Show, where we are homesteading traditionally 100% off-grid today and offering preparedness and survival tips for tomorrow. Here's your host, Tammy Treyer. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Mountain Woman Radio. So glad to have you joining me today. It is just amazing out here in northern Idaho right now. I am the one that everybody out here in Idaho curses that does not like snow because I was praying hard for lots of it, and that's exactly what we got. It is just covering the trees, and it is just beyond beautiful out here, and I am just so thankful to be able to see it and enjoy it. I was able to get out in it for 20 minutes yesterday, and it just felt so, so good, and I don't know if all of you are aware, but I am doing live videos on Periscope, and that is P-E-R-I-S-C-O-P-E, and you can find us at periscope.tv slash Treyer Wilderness. There is one out there from today. I did one this afternoon to show the snow and to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, and um uh, You can find the archives at catch.me, and that's K-A-T-C-H dot M-E slash Treyer Wilderness, but it only has one S at the end. So you can find my archives there, and I highly encourage you to check them out because the first one that I did, I shared a bit about our lifestyle. In the second one I did, I really talked a lot about the misconceptions of off-grid living, and I also have one um, that really describes and explains how solar and alternative energy work. So I encourage you to check them out if that's something that you are interested in. You can also find my archives on our YouTube channel, and that is youtube.com slash Treyer Wilderness. I encourage you to join me on both of those platforms as well as Instagram. That's instagram.com slash Treyer Wilderness. Those three places really allow me and my family to give a personal side of things and really share with you uh, what we have going on out here. I I did not like the live video initially. Um, Your bloopers are bloopers and they're live, you know what I'm saying? But um, I've grown used to it and I do like the platform because what it enables me to do that my radio show doesn't is that it enables me to get your responses and have you communicate with me while I'm live. And it has, I must say, been a little bit tricky getting used to um, answering the questions as I'm in a different train of thought um, or to keep my train of thought while I'm answering the questions that are popping up. But it's been really awesome. And, you know, that's one part of things I really enjoy is getting to know our audience and getting to meet all of you. This is so one-sided for me, but I hear a lot from many of you with your emails and many of you have joined my newsletter and I really, really appreciate that. And um, I encourage you to join us on those platforms and communicate with us. Um, Hearing from you folks means so much and being able to answer your questions is so important to me too because that's really why we do things. You know, we want to be able to educate and educating is knowing what our audience needs and knowing what their struggles are. So as always, I encourage you, um, you know, to c- comment and communicate. And if it's something more personal, feel free to email me at survive at treyerwilderness.com. For those of you that are traveling or new to my show, y- you can find us at treyerwilderness.com and it's t-r-a-y-e-r wilderness.com 
I'd encourage you to sign up for our newsletter, uh, really cater to our audience that way. I just feel that our audience is our family. Um, I pray for you all every day because I know that all of you are experiencing life just like I am. Some of you have sicknesses and illnesses. Some of you are dealing with cancer. Some of you are just dealing with the ups and downs of life. And um, I just feel that that's something I can do for you to gift you. But I wanted to, I, I can't believe that it is two days away from Christmas. How in the world did that happen? They say as you get older that um, time goes faster. But nobody said anything about warp speed. This is just crazy. I can't believe we are heading into 2016. But I'm so excited and anxious for 2016 because um, for those of you that know I've been having health issues, I'm really excited to announce that I was able to get my surgery scheduled for January 29th. The mountain man and I will be going to Georgia to a specialist to get things taken care of. And the mountain boy and our dear friends will be um, protecting and caring for our homestead in our absence. But um, I put a newsletter out yesterday and, um, you know, many of you have been sending us notations and praying for us. And I want I just felt it was right for me to update you. And, you know, we have opted not to disclose all the details of things right now. Um, quite honestly, they are very personal, but I do want to share them with you. I just feel that now's not the time. God is telling me now is not the time to share them. And I'm learning through this process that right now my biggest focus needs to be my health and focusing on, on me and my family right now. So for those of you that think that I'm going for the drama or that I'm, you know, that I should be disclosing this information, that's okay. Um, I do stay far away from the drama. My heart's desire is to help people. So the reason that I'm talking about my situation is because I really feel I can help people through my process, you know, through what I'm experiencing and through what, um, I'm going to have to go through. And, um, I wrote a newsletter yesterday expressing some ways that you can help others that may be in need. And I'm putting a post out today um, on the same lines of how to bless others. And I also put a post out last week on facing the realities of illness. And I encourage you to check them out. If you or you know someone that is suffering from illness or life circumstances, I really encourage you to check them out. Um, like I said, it's my heart's desire to share what I'm learning to, to let others know that they're not alone. I was diagnosed with Lyme disease and, um, that's just a very minute part of what I'm dealing with right now. Um, the rest of my struggles are very extreme and, uh, we will know more once my surgery is completed and once my treatments begin as to what we're totally dealing with here. But I'm just feeling so blessed that God has opened the doors and, and, and provided answers as to what has been diminishing my health for the last three years. And additionally, it just blows me away to see how God orchestrates things in our lives. You know, I've experienced his hand so many times. And my, my uh, prayer is that through these circumstances, um, people can visibly see his hand in our lives because it has just been amazing. Um, about a month ago, we opened our cabin to a dear friend of mine that writes and blogs with me. And I've interviewed her earlier in the year. So some of you that have been following me for a while are familiar with Rhonda Crank. And um, if you're not, you can find her at thefarmerslamp.com. She is a sweet, sweet dear friend. And, you know, we opened our cabin to her as a family, wanting to bless she and her husband with a place to stay and never ever imagined how the blessings would be wrapped around us. Um, God just orchestrated timing on this situation so incredibly because without her being here, I would really have been struggling a lot worse. And I'm just so, so thankful for them in our lives and just how God has done things. But I'm on a protocol right now. Um, that protocol is to help me with the Lyme disease, but it's also to keep the extreme toxins in my body lowered. Um, they won't go away until after my surgery. And uh, it's been quite something. You know, I could say that I'm living day to day, but honestly, I'm living minute to minute because uh, the unpredictability of my body uh, has caused me to not be able to make any plans. And it's 
been really a rough time because I am a go-getter. For those of you that follow me, I am an extreme positive thinker and an extreme go-getter. And I've been that way all my life. You know, since I've been in the working world at 18, 19, um, I have always been a pusher and a go-getter and a driver. And um, being forced to um, be benched, if you will, and holding down the couch is something that was very unfamiliar to me and um, it was a lot bigger of a struggle than I could have ever imagined and my heart goes out to all of you that are dealing with chronic diseases um, life-altering illnesses and and illnesses of any kind um, because this has been um, something that even I as a positive thinker and an optimist had to uh, really wrap my head around. Um, there was a two week period there that the toxins were just pushing out of my body and I was so sick. And, uh, there was a day or two that I wasn't able to comfortably stand, sit or lay. Um, so praying was my option. I made it through them and, um, but I'm hard on myself during these situations because I know there's so many other people out there that are in worse positions than I am. So when I get down, I'm really hard on myself and, you know, God is teaching me so much through this process because, you know, we all go through circumstances and one of my girlfriends told me one time or put it to me this way that, you know, no matter what the circumstances in our life, if it's hard, it's hard. Regardless if somebody has it worse or not, you know, whatever we're going through, um, we have to learn to deal with. And so that is what I've been doing is I've been learning to deal with my circumstances and learning to work through them. Because one thing that I don't want to be is in a woe is me state too long. I'm learning to accept the realities and accept the feelings that come along with those realities but I don't want to be stuck in that place because when I'm in a negative state for too long, it wears on me. And honestly, I have some very dear friends that have and are battling with cancer, some that have dealt with it several times, and I know it's just such an amazing challenge. I have two very dear friends that are dealing with Lyme disease in such a debilitating way, and I'm very blessed that I, I do have it, but not as extreme as my friends and that it, it hurts my heart to know that they're suffering, you know? And so I've learned and I always have done this is to look for the shiny penny. I've said it before and I will always say it, you know, to look for the blessings in your life, no matter what you're dealing with, no matter how rough the circumstances are that you are dealing with. If you can look for the blessings, see the blessings, record those blessings because they are there and you need to focus on them. God gives us what we need through our circumstances. It's up to us to see him. And I am just overflowing with the blessings. God is working miracle after miracle. Like I said, Rhonda and Jay and her husband, Jason are here and they have just been such a blessing um, to us. And it is just so amazing how God has woven us together and how much alike we are to such a detail. It's just, I, I could talk to you for hours about the unbelievable hand that has been put in our lives. It's just amazing. So, you know, God orchestrated it in a time that I really needed help. And um, I feel for those of you out there, because illness is something that doesn't just affect our physical being. It affects us mentally. It affects us spiritually. It affects us emotionally. And honestly, there are so, so many people suffering in this world. And it's just so sad. And they're often alone. And that's why I am being vocal about my situation. Because, you know, I have a voice. And I feel that God bless me with a voice. That is my, my gift from him. And to be able to share his blessings and his word through my voice and through my writing. And that is what I desire to do. And like I mentioned, this is my, my surgery and my situation is something that is a very extremely personal thing. So I feel that um, I'm being led that, that the timing is not right for me to share it. Like I said, that I need to heal and take care of me. But when I do share it, I know that I will be helping so many people 
And um, I want to just thank you all for your prayers and your love and your support and your kindness. And, um, you know, something you got to consider um, in life, too, is that when someone's struggling, it's not just them, it's their family, too. You know, their family sees them changing, seeing them unable to do things, seeing them in pain, seeing them struggling. And, you know, it's a helpless feeling. And, and men and women process struggles very differently. So to have prayers coming in for not just me, but my family means so much to me. And it, from the bottom of my heart, I thank all of you. But I want to share something else with you today. And I'm going to just take a short break here to hear some words from our sponsors and i'll be right back to share more with you stay tuned new pioneer magazine taking the skills and techniques of yesteryears and combining it with solar hydroponics and various other advancements of today creating the most robust pioneering magazine on the market in addition to the new pioneer magazine they also have available the american frontiersman magazine taking you back to a more primitive time and both magazines can be found at newpioneermag.com Get your copies today and be prepared for tomorrow. Do you have a loved one or are you suffering from celiac disease or a gluten intolerance? Trying to find that perfect flour? Whether you are baking cookies, flaky pie crust, or baking breads from scratch, or you are looking for a quick cake from a package, look no further. Better Batter offers non-GMO gluten-free products with an assortment of packaged items as well as flour packaged in varying sizes, including their bulk sizes. Perfect for those of you that are practicing your preparedness skills. Better Batter is not just another gluten-free flour. It's what you have been searching for. Visit betterbatter.org. Do you have your free digital subscription to Prepare Magazine yet? If not, then hurry over to preparemag.com and start getting each monthly issue sent directly to your inbox. It's easy. All you have to do is go to preparemag.com, enter your name and email address, and you're subscribed. Consider signing up for the premium membership for past issues and exclusive resources. You can even subscribe to the beautiful print version of Prepare Magazine. Visit preparemag.com and choose the option that's most valuable to you. Prepare Magazine, encouraging, empowering, and enriching your journey. Okay, we are back, and we were talking about health and prayers, and I want to talk now about caring for people and being able to bless others. Um, The Mountain Boy and I do our devotions together every morning, and this morning it was talking about um, using our gift and, and when we gift someone to do it with love. Now, I want to really touch on that because right now this has really opened my eyes um, to really see how we can help others and to also see some of my friends who have been bed bound for weeks and struggling themselves still gifting and loving up on others and it is what we are called to do now if you gift people but when you gift people you have the expectation that you are going to receive something in return I'm going to be blunt here you're doing it wrong when we gift somebody we are supposed to gift them with love wholehearted love with no expectations of receiving anything in return and when you are able to bless somebody with a whole loving heart the rewards are so grand in themselves Being able to love up on other people when they are struggling is so important. So many people, like I said, in this world are struggling, whether it's through life circumstances, whether it's illnesses, whether it's chronic illness, whether it's debilitating diseases. You know, so many people live life feeling like they're so alone, and we can fix that. You know, we were called to help our brothers and sisters, and there's so many ways that we can do that. And again, I suggest that you go to our website and check out the post that I'm putting out there that went out today on how to bless others. Because if it's not a normal part of your thinking on how to bless somebody, you may not really know how to do it. But it's really not that hard. Um, and, and But there's something you got to remember. Depending on the sickness of the people, and I can talk from experience right now you know so many people are wanting to help me but right now my health is so unpredictable and I'm in need of rest so much that you know I can't set something in my schedule for someone to come and visit and and put it in stone because 
I never know from one minute to the next how I'm going to feel. So I've had to cancel things and I've had to just say no. And, you know, sometimes when people are trying to gift you, that can really hurt them. Or, you know, they'll see somebody else visiting and they don't get a chance to, so they get offended. So I want you to think about that. When you have friends that are really ill and they are struggling, you know, you have to remember that um, bodies do weird things. People process things differently than others. People handle things differently than others. So don't be offended. Love them. Love them with your whole heart and find a way that you can bless them without it interfering with them and without um, you feeling hurt when they, when they can't you know, meet your needs to want to bless them. So let me give you an example. Maybe make a meal for them. Um, if you can't get back to make a meal for them or um, you know, they're not available or they need to rest, you know, sometimes just sending them an email or a card can mean the world to them and just let them know that you're thinking of them and that you're caring for them and that, you know, they're thought of. And uh, being able to take them for errands or to doctor appointments or to do their grocery shopping or what have you. Uh, Another big thing with illness is no matter what insurance company you have today, there are co-pays, there are additional expenses, there is travel to doctor appointments, to far distances. Like example for us, you know, the specialist that I need is in Georgia. So it's costs, you know, we've had to, we have to fly, we have to get there, we have to be there for a long period of time, you know, so all those things add up. And I want you to think about that with your friends and family that are in need, you know, and what I tell people to do is pray about it, pray on how you can help them and, and, um, help them in a way that you feel led, even putting a small package together of some homemade goodies or, you know, something you found that reminded you of them, a book, uh, a journal, anything, you know, any act of kindness is going to be received in such a big way. And I encourage you to do that, but I encourage you to do it with a loving heart. So many people give of themselves, but get upset because they don't get anything in return. And like I said, you're looking at that wrong. The best part of giving is just the heartfelt feeling of knowing you're blessing somebody. And that's what it's all about. That's where the love comes in. So I encourage you to just think of others right now. And right now with the season, you know, there's many people that may have lost loved ones over the years uh, or may have lost a loved one this time of year previously, and they struggle. You know, be there for them. Provide a distraction. Um, Take them for coffee. Love up on them. And, you know, just think of others because, you know, so often we get caught up on thinking about ourselves. And it's been really, you know... A saving grace for me. I love blessing people and I'm always on the giving side of this. So being on the receiving side has been a little unusual for me and humbling. But, you know, to be able to still bless others while you're struggling helps you through your own struggles. It's a part of staying positive and and seeing how we can still be a gift and still be a light. You know, my biggest prayer is through our circumstances and our current situation that somehow... People will see God's hand in our lives and, and the miracles and, and our faith, our strong faith. My faith is so strong. I know from the bottom of my heart that God is going to get us through this situation. And I am going to join you in 2016 with a whole new perspective on life. This situation has made me really realize how much I talk about the simple life, but I'm not living it. And, you know, that's why I'm here. I am here because I wanted to live the simple life and I am scurrying through my days and I want to be a better wife. I want to be a better mother. I want to be a better friend. I want to be a a better gift to others. And my new year's focus is so different than any before. And, you know, I know that all the circumstances we go through in our lives, whether good, bad, or in between, there's purpose in all of them. I'm a true believer that everything that happens, happens for a reason. Whether it is a reason we are supposed to learn from it, or whether it's a reason that someone is supposed to learn from our experience. Everything makes us stronger. Everything prepares us for something new and something different. God uses these times to take us to different levels, to teach us, and to help us grow in Him. And, you know, if, if you are not 
a believer in Jesus, I encourage you to seek him or at least check it out. And if you want somebody to guide you, I would be more than happy. Email me at survive at treherwilderness.com because it is one of the most biggest rewards in my life I have ever experienced is having that close walk with Jesus. It's just amazing. He is my rock and he has been my stronghold in getting through this situation. And uh, I just wanted to share that today. You know, he is the reason for the season for us. And I really feel without him, you know, I, I can't, going through this experience right now, it, it, it just sickens me to think that there are people in this world struggling like I am and don't have him to hang on to because he makes such a big difference in my life and in my family. And like I said, just seeing the miracles daily is just beyond me. But I wanted to share that with you. And I want to encourage you to uh, join our newsletter so we can stay in touch. Join me on Instagram and Facebook and on my live uh, videos because I would love to chat with you. I would love to answer your questions. I would love to get to know you. And because of my current health situations, I have decided um, to, to take a pause with my Mountain Woman Radio. I have several interviews that will go live that are new interviews. Um, that are ready to go and recorded, excuse me, and after that, I am going to be um, uploading some of the archives, some of my favorite shows from over the last three years, so I will keep something readily available for you to listen to, but I will not, probably not be back on here live and with you until March, um, depending how things go in Feb, uh, January with my surgery, I may do one and just update you that things have gone well and that I'm progressing through. Um, but I will see how I am feeling at that time. But, um, if you subscribe to my newsletter, I, you know, you'll be updated on things. And, but I just wanted to let you know that right now I do need to, um, uh, look out for me and look out for my family. So, um, I thank you for joining me and I will be back, but I, I, do need to do this for myself. And for those of you that are still looking for that perfect Christmas gift because you're last minute shoppers, I encourage you to check out our website. My books are available for sale. My Treyer Wilderness Cookbook is available for sale. It is um, homesteading the traditional way. So it teaches you from scratch cooking and how to maneuver in your kitchen as well as how to do gluten-free and dairy-free cooking, cooking and baking with essential oils, how to cook in a sun oven or on your wood stove, and how to cook wild game. So I encourage you to check that out. And that is an option for a, an immediate gift because that is an e-book. And my other book that is in the process and should be done shortly is How to Embrace an Off-Grid Lifestyle, and that is available for pre-sale right now. So another book that would benefit you greatly if you're looking into homesteading and off-grid living. It will give you the ins and outs of alternative energy. It will give you some of the hacks we have utilized in our home to reduce the amount of power required by our home. And it shares in detail you know, some of our experiences. So I encourage you to check that out. And it also gives you resources um, for your solar equipment, such as backwoodsolar.com. I highly encourage you to check them out. They are an amazing company with great customer service and knowledge and know-how like nobody's business. So check them out. And the other thing that I would be so excited to have you join me with is my class in the new year. Um, getting organized in a crazy busy world is what it is called. And in that class, I really feel that is the essential stepping stone for anything that you're going to be successful in in your life because organization is key. Being organized, having goals, and knowing how to reach those goals. You know, we all set goals in the new year, but how many of us turn around mid-year and remember, oh, yeah, that's right, I set that goal in, in January and totally forgot about it. I want to teach you how to embrace those goals. We wouldn't be here if we weren't embracers, and I want to teach you how to be able to embrace those dreams you have and, and reach the goals and make them a reality. But not only that, to stay organized and on top of your schedule and how to not be so stressed in your life. And that is something that I, I am good at and would love more than anything to be able to teach you. So that is also another immediate gift. It's uh, on, available for pre-sale and they can take the class in, uh, toward the end of January. So 
Guys, I thank you so, so much for being a part of my life and joining me. And I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. And for those of you that celebrate other holidays, I wish you a good holiday as well. And I encourage you to slow down and smell the beautiful Christmas aromas and enjoy your family right now. Slow down and realize what's important to you. And I look forward more than anything to join you in the new year where we will have good health, prosperity, a new focus, and lots of inspiration and knowledge coming your way. So again, I thank you so much for joining me today and always, and I look forward to keeping in touch with you and uh, sharing um, so much with you in the new year. So Till our next show, you guys take care, and God bless. You're listening to the Mountain Woman Radio Show, where you will learn something new every week. We hope you enjoyed the show and encourage you to join us at treyerwilderness.com. And be sure to connect with us on iTunes. Remember, your reviews on iTunes are very important to us and help us reach more people just like you.